<laughs> Listen, this will be the last time, Perpetua, you address me by my first name. I am your boss. You address me properly and you put a sa at the end of it. Do you hear me? It's still work hours. Get out. You've done your worst, Abby. What is it? You've done your worst, Abby. What is it again? What is it, Perpetua? Are you not the mole who went to tell his wife that I was planning a birthday bash for him? Hey, stop it! Stop it! How do you even take me for? Don't pretend. You never approved of our relationship. And I take no delight in such ungodly act. Ungodly act, Abby? <laughs> By the time I am done with you in this town, Come to think of it, what were you even thinking? You saw all this coming? Another woman tells me, spare me the details. As if you were any better before you got married. It's a pity. You don't even know me. Yes. I know you. You are a mole. A green snake under the green grass. And by the time I am done with you, this town no go contain two of us. Perpetual, you know, let me advise you. Mm? You know, you're a very beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. Keep your advice to yourself because you will need it afterwards. <laughs> Baby, it hasn't been easy. I understand. <laughs> At least you're there with your husband. Hey, how about my baby? How's she doing? She's, she's fine, she's fine. I just dropped her off um, at school. I miss her. She would not turn American and finish. Jane, na me miss on her pass. You don't understand. How is my husband? He's fine. He's even in a board meeting right now. You know you're my bestie. Please, I beg you, help me. Watch over my husband. Eh? This is why you're not gonna kill me. Trust me now. Who am I here for you? Trust me. Anytime, you know, I, I will always be your eyes and your ears. I trust you. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me, how is your husband? You know, I used to see him every time. Your husband is just looking fresh and nice. I see his pictures on Facebook. Mm hmm See, better soup now, money for you, you know. Babe. Sweetheart. Don't you think you're being too hard on yourself? Tell me, what type of a friend am I? You're just trying to protect your marriage, okay? By betraying my best friend? Of course not. You're not betraying anybody. Now listen, darling. How would you feel if you were the one responsible for the breakup of a couple that has already invested over 10 years of their lives in matrimony? That's what I thought. If I ask, why do men cheat? <laughs> I don't know. That is a question for the universe. I have no idea why men cheat. Why? What am I saying? I'm a man. Oh my God. I don't know. I can't answer that question. I'm sorry. Would you cheat on me if you're not in the same city or country with me? No, no, no. Of course not. I can barely even live three days without you. Come on. That doesn't still answer my question. If I travel to Asia, Europe, or to anywhere in the world, I promise you I will zip it. 
I would never ever cheat on you. <laughs> Go come on, what's up? Babe. Officer, how many times will I tell you that I don't have a hand in our disappearance? We know, but we needed to give us information which will at least help us. When she warned you, whom did you discuss it with? Nobody. I mean, she's my colleague. Nothing? Even your lover, Oscar. <laughs> All right, darling, it's fine. I'll fix it, okay? You know what, let me, let me talk to my baby. Okay, no problem. I'll call your daughter for you. Mommy, no, that is on what most you to do. Daddy! Hey, <laughs> how are you? Bye, Daddy. I miss you. I miss you too. You know that he misses you. Uh -huh. I miss you, Pumpkin. When are you coming? You know my birthday is next month. I know. How can I forget your birthday is right by the corner? You know what? I'm running around trying to make money, all right, to get you that special dress that you want. Yippee! I love you, Daddy. You're the best daddy in the world. Uh, you're the best daughter in the world, too. Daddy loves you. Fine. So you know what? Just um, give mommy the phone. Pass the phone to mommy. Let me talk to her. <laughs> okay, baby. Let me talk to daddy. Okay? <laughs> mm. Mm. You better buy her this dress. If not, there will be third world war. <laughs> What's that noise? Oh, should I? It's... I think it's the door. Yes. I think the fan is heavy on the door, so it just swung open. But hey, I'm happy I've spoken to you and I know that I'm tired. I need to rest. Ah, uh, okay. Let me let you go to bed. I love you, Kay. Good night. Thank you, darling. Love you now. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. I didn't know you were on the phone. Oh, well, now you know. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were on a call. I know, but then you have to be careful. I keep telling you. Yeah? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. 
and your secretary was giving me a warning yesterday saying you know his wife is my best friend what you know that girl should mind her business really but don't worry i took care of her well you sure you don't want me to talk to her no it's okay guess what what so i completed my appraisal yesterday are you serious mm -hmm. Put it here. <laughs> <laughs> mm, nice, 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 nice. First thing Monday morning, I'm going to make a strong recommendation for your promotion. <gasps> no. Yes. Oh my God, you see why I love you? <laughs> I love you too, baby. Mm. <laughs> you love me. I remember it took me four months, four oh. months to woo you. Like, I was chasing everywhere. Uh -uh. Come on, now look at me. Come on, now date me. Come on, I like you. Come on, be nice to me. I didn't want to be your side chick, you know now. Ah, so me, I wanted to be a side guy, eh? <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. You're happy now, right? Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens when the morning. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Are you asthmatic? No, I'm not. Are you hypertensive? No, I'm not. Do you have high blood pressure? Officer, I don't understand how these questions relate to the reason I am here. Oh, I was wondering why you were squeezing your face. Look, officer, I already told you before. After she told me, I did nothing. So, your girlfriend... My ex-girlfriend. My ex-girlfriend. Oh, your ex-girlfriend told you the missing lady who is a friend to your wife threatened to tell her about your affair? Look, I did not think it was a threat. All right? That girl exaggerates a lot. I, I didn't make anything of it. Oh, I see. Maybe that is the reason you fell in love with her? Oh, sir, can you just ask the bitch where Mrs. James, Jane is? It, it, you can't be asking me. I don't know. I don't have that information. Why so? All right, just this one time. All right, just this one time. I'll help you out, but that's it. It all started during the preparation. Uh, this is good. Look, I guarantee you that the MD will be impressed with the work that you've done. Really? This is good. Yeah, really. I mean, look, look, look at it. it. It's nice. Just that your profit projection is a bit on the high side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but aside that, I think this is good work. Thank you. You're welcome. You assisted in making me a better analyst. Oh, come on now. Don't give me all the credit. You, you did a good job yourself. <laughs> this is good. So, I was going through some documents and I realized that there's going to be a huge celebration in two weeks. Are we? Mm -hmm. What celebration? Your birthday! Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were all about something serious. And I will see...
and I'm, I want to make sure that he has one of the biggest parties we've ever had in this office. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. And you're welcome to join. Let's put hands together to make it worthy of him. Oh my God, like you need to see my plans. <laughs> um, but how come you're leaving now? It's, you're closed for the day already and it's just 2 p.m. I have an appointment to catch. See you later. Okay. Mr. Fidelis and Kola. This is really getting tiring, okay? I mean, I can't understand you two anymore. We are doing our best, sir. Well, you need to stop talking about your best because your best is not good enough. You've been doing your best since how long now? Just look at we, 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 we. Oh my God, I'm grossly disappointed in both of you. That's why we're here. We're working on a lead. Stop talking about the lead. I'd rather have this discussion with your commission of police. What do you know about the birthday party? Birthday, what, what, what birthday? Mr. Oscar's birthday party. Oh, oh, that that was um, practically organized and put together by Perpetual herself. I mean, she invited everyone. And, 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 and what? And my wife had her own reservations about it. There was nothing more to it. Really? Thank you. And you think that would be a good idea? Why not? I mean, it's the big 40. Right. It's just that, um, I saw in my dream, while you were celebrating your birthday party, Joyce came and met Perpetual. Ah, no, that is not even remotely possible. <laughs> it's not possible. I'm serious. Oh, well, you look serious, but it's not possible, okay? Since I relocated my wife and daughter to New York, I, I send money from here. Everything they do, I pay for from here. So, what? how would they buy it? <laughs> it's not even possible. If they have to visit Nigeria, I buy their ticket from here. So, how is she possibly going to show up without my knowledge? How? Listen, it looked so real. I'm serious. I understand that you're serious, but it is not possible. By the way, how is Michael? Um, but, sir... Jane, my regards to your husband, alright? And I believe that we still have some work to do before it's a close of work. So quickly do that, and then get me the file from the DSC people. Let me know it. Okay, sir. Good workout session, man. <laughs> Honestly. I'm tired, but I think we should do this very often. Oh, yeah, but you are the only one that is always not available. Because I have to work, you know? I have to work. But I work too. Yeah, but you work for yourself. Yeah. 
I work for an establishment, so I don't have the kind of time that you have. You can create more time to work out. Oh, I get it. I get it. I fine, you get fine. It. I work for myself. <laughs> but you're not almost finished. You, you're you just panting and panting. It's fine. Of course, because you visit the gym every day. I'm still trying to catch up. Don't worry. I'm just getting into the game again. Wait. So tell me, mm -hmm. how does almost turning 40 make you feel? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. It just reminds you that, you know, you're getting closer to where you're going. That That's it. And where are we going? The grave now, come on, the grave. Oh my God. Yeah, we're getting old. Oh, wait, 40, closer to 70 than it is to zero. Uh, so uh, Mike, don't goal. spoil it. It's going to be my birthday in a few days, so do not spoil it with your mathematical rhetorics, okay? Oh, come on. It sure pays my bills, you know. You know the drill, right? I know it pays your bills, but please, just let it go. I beg, I beg, I beg. I get the drill, it's fine. Please, just leave maths to the out of it. All right, I will. I'll leave it, I'll leave it. <laughs> so how's the celebration going to be like? Well, I don't know. Someone is taking that up. I'm one of my colleagues at the office. She's trying to put a few things together to make me look good on that day. But hey, you know, tell Jane, you two can come. Yeah, it'll be our pleasure. We're always invited. But well, that reminds me. Um, yeah, what? That's something I've been willing to tell you. What? Don't, don't freak out. Freak out? Right? What was it? My wife had another dream. Oh, come, come on, on now. Come on, oh, man. My clerk. Not listen, you, listen. Man. You know my wife's dreams always come true. Okay. Now, my wife said yes. she dreamt that Joyce paid your surprise visit mm -hmm. on your birthday. Okay. Yeah, that's it. No, that's not it. I'm missing something. Oh, no, I, I have to be missing something because my wife does not work. What? She has to pay bills. I pay bills from Nigeria. She has to, what? Everything she has to do. What? She has to travel here. I buy the tickets from Nigeria. So I don't understand how Joyce is just going to show up without me knowing about it. But, but if, if, if what? Come on now. I think you're worrying too much for me. You know what, I think it's been a great workout session. So I think you should go home, you know, have a warm bath. While I go home, have a cold bath, you know, grab something cold to drink. While you grab something to eat, your wife is available. My wife is not there. You know? <laughs> and we get together sometime again and get to do this. All right, by the way, my regards to Jane. My regards to Joyce. Get some fruits. <laughs> All right, bro. Um, Ma, I'm here to file a complaint. There's this guy that has been sending me love text messages since and he has been bugging me with it. I believe he got my number from my account opening package. And, and since then he has just been sending me love text messages. As in, I think he's dangerous. And I'm scared that if I report him to the bank where he works, like, he will try to harm me because he might lose his job. Young lady, how old are you? I'm 23. Are you married? No. What does that have to do with this complaint? So, you jam better person when they work for bank and you they form. And the guy like you upon saying you they form, he they beg you on top. That's all I take the miss on a future husband too. What be woman you be? If I not toast you, now go to have me go toast you. Come on number with him. Collect. I be you go chop him. I just want a restraining order, okay? I don't want you to get to a situation whereby he will start parking his car in front of my street and looking at my gate and waiting for me to come out. I'm scared. Hey! <laughs> Oga Kola! Oga Kola! Waiting, constable, waiting! Ah, person you no go rest for this station again. Come here, Mata. Not too many person no go see for this life. Oh. Imagine, say man they disturb her, she know I make he come they pack for her gates, they observe her, I don't just understand. And now bank herself. Eh? Hmm. Oh, so make you not pack for your street again, Abby? Because you say in Yanga they worry you. Help me ask him. Who be your papa? I say who be your papa? Your papa na federal government, Abby state government? Hmm. All these young ladies of these days, me I don't understand though. I wonder. Oh, you think it's easy to work for bank? Now, wow, eh? This thing is a spiritual matter. <laughs> yeah, Abi, who would then go push sugar for your mouth? He go spit and throw away. I beg you. I just want you guys to do your job and protect me. That's all I'm asking. Do you want to teach us how to do our work? Or do you want us to lock you up? Or are the This is a domestic matter. I should be resolved amicably. So. I don't say I take consign yourself. Just carry yourself. Carry your wallet, you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you're asking me to, to leave. I should go. They go now, I beg. They go, don't waste my time. What is young young girl said? Oh, you mean they fine? 
They don't say easy for them. Men, they pursue them. We, we, they fight. They don't commit us. Banker. Let's get our mumu. Thank you. Do you need anything else, lady? No, thanks. As I was saying before the interruption, what exactly happened during the birthday party? Like I said, officer, it was just a gathering of myself, my boss, his friends, and colleagues. Nothing unusual happened. Your boss or your ex-boyfriend? We were there to celebrate him because he turned 40. We ate, we drank until... Surprise! Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. So this is the time we give the toast. Mike, do you want to do the honors? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Me? Um, uh, all right. Oh, all right. Okay. Ladies, gentlemen, Oscar here is a wonderful person. Thanks, darling. Mm -hmm. He's my playmate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, we play tennis, you know. Uh, even though he's older than me with about one or two years, it doesn't really matter. He has been able to find the humility to accept my friendship and treat me as a brother. I remember back in the days in the university. <laughs> <laughs> you know, back to back, we used to watch each other's back. Yeah. <laughs> ah, <done good. laughs> Oscar, I want to thank you for being such an awesome boss. It's my beautiful wife. Anytime. And of course, a mentor to the rest of us. Thank you. This, this is for you. May the universe grant you your heart desires, Amen. peace, Amen. harmony, Amen. good health, long life, and prosperity. Amen. Thank you. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. Hooray. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. Thank you, thank you guys, thank you for showing up. I am really awed by your presence here. Yeah. Thank you so no, very much. Okay. No, 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. Okay. You haven't answered my question. Look, officer, I have told you I don't have anything or know anything about this missing person. I beg if, if this one you're treating me like a criminal. Oh yeah, let's charge this case to court. Let's go charge it to court. Babe, calm down. The matter never is like that. We are only trying to get to the root of this matter. And trying to bring your colleague home safe and sound. Don't you want that? Of course I want it. But you're too harsh on me now, treating me as if I'm the culprit. Ah, I'm a victim in this hole. How? How? Please explain. I don't understand. <laughs> Thank you, darling. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you for a beautiful party. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You know, it still beats me how you were able to pull that off. It was a huge surprise. But you know you've done so much more for me, and I'll do anything for you, baby. 
thank you for everything. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you expecting anyone? I don't know. You tell me. I mean, you were the one who drew up a list for people to come to my house. So you tell me if you have a late comer. <laughs> Wait. Someone is going to come for a party by this time? Of course, you have some late callers now. You, know, you never know. Uh -huh. So check, check it out. Find out. I am going to knock whoever it is. I'll knock the person's head. Please. Or you're expecting someone? Me. I don't trust. You don't trust. <laughs> we'll see. Not to be explained. Oh, no, come on, no, don't say that. All right, I'm sorry. No, you're not. Hey, baby, come, let's go. Daddy, aren't you coming with oh, Of course, I am coming. I just need to change. Sweetheart, please. It hasn't come to this yet, okay? Look, it hasn't come to this yet. All right, please. Kasalabidiso. Real wow. So, babe, what happened after that? Please tell us exactly what happened. What are you expecting? For him to buy me flowers, sweep me off my feet, and tell me he loves me for breaking his home? Of course not. Don't worry. Another man will come. You hear? Officer, what did you expect? I, I, of course, I ended the relationship. What about your relationship with Miss Jane? Oh, no. Officer, really, you want, you want to go that route? We are just doing our job. Oh, well, if you must know, she remains my friend's wife and then we still work at the same company. And then she's missing after warning you about the party that your wife might just show up, of which she did. Officer, you're not implying that I have something to do with her disappearance, now, are you? We are just trying to resolve the mystery behind her disappearance. What mystery? I'm the one who's lost everything here. Me. How? Please, I beg you. Listen, listen, listen. 
there will be no need for that. You broke my heart and you also broke our daughter's heart when you allowed a stranger into our matrimonial bed. And I'm sorry, okay? But if you're saying that we cannot resolve this... Then how, how are you going to cope? How, how will our daughter cope? <laughs> my dear, we will be fine. I will get a job and we will be fine. I have spoken to her about it and we do not need you. So you can keep your stepping to yourself. Don't, don't do this, please. We can resolve this, please. Listen, I'm not going to discuss about this anymore. If she grows up and decides that she wants to see her father, then fine. But now, you're non-existent in my life. Joy, you cannot do that. I don't have to do what? You know what? By the time I get back... You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Hello? <sighs> Listen, this is the last time, Perpetua, you address me by my first name. I am your boss. You address me properly and you put a sa at the end of it. Do you hear me? It's still work hours. You've done your worst, Abby. What is it again? What is it, Perpetua? Are you not the mole who went to tell his wife that I was planning a birthday bash for him? Hey, stop it! Stop it! How do you even take me for? Don't pretend. You never approved of our relationship. And I take no delight in such ungodly act. Ungodly act, Abby? <laughs> By the time I am done with you in this town, Come to think of it, what were you even thinking? You saw all this coming? Another woman tells me, spare me the details. As if you were any better before you got married. It's a pity. You don't even know me. Yes. I know you. You are a mole. A green snake under the green grass. And by the time I am done with you, this town no go contain two of us. Perpetual, you know, let me advise you. Mm? You know, you're a very beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. Keep your advice to yourself because you will need it afterwards. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you? Fine, sir. Sir, do you have a minute? For sure, I know you can sit. Um. <laughs> uh, I'm here. I'm fine. I'm. I'm hanging in here. When was the last time you spoke to, to your friend? Honestly, I tried my best, but she's not taking her calls. Like you have to try. Alright, I need to speak with my wife desperately. I haven't even gotten a chance to, to talk to her daughter. I need to talk to my wife. I, I just need to talk to her. Okay, as it stands, I have severed all kinds of relationship with, with, with other women, even Perpetua. Um, about that, sir. About what? So she came to my office to threaten me, and since then I've been receiving different threats messages from different numbers. Enjoy. Perpetua came to your office to threaten you. 
Are you serious? Yes, sir. How long has this been going on? Um, for about um, two weeks plus. I even told Mike about it and he said I should discuss it with you first. Yes, my office is right away. Look, I'm sorry about this. All right, I need you to calm down and trust that I'll handle it. All right, so just take it easy. It's my fault, but I'll fix it. Okay? So are you called? Yes. Um, what is this I'm hearing about you sending death threats to Jane? Is it true? Death threats. I didn't send any message, you. You did. I didn't send you any message. I only called you a mo because you told his wife. She told your wife. And then what did you do? You resorted to sending death threats to her. I didn't send any message. Why would I do that? The whole message is still coming in after you confronted me. Death threats. I will never do that. So you know me. Listen to me. Let this be the last time I get a first report. If it happens again, I guarantee you that you would lose your job here. Threat to life is a serious offense. Leave. Listen, Jane. Calm down. All right. I'll handle this. Okay. So, what, please? I need you to try harder to reach your friend for me. So, I'll try my best. Maybe I just have to send an email. Whatever means, whatever means you can implore, I would appreciate it. It's okay, sir. Yes, come in. <laughs> That's a divorce letter from Joyce. Divorce papers? Okay, Oscar, officially I'm out of form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I know. Yeah, back to our discussion. Yeah. Oscar. What? I might have to take legal action if Perpetual doesn't stop harassing my wife. I don't understand. Is that is this still going on? Yes. But I spoke to both of them. I told her how to stop. No, obviously it hasn't stopped. And I might have to tell my wife to leave the organization uh, no, to no. enable me to purchase this legally no, as possible. Relax, look, relax. Mike, calm down. All right, look, listen. I'm on top of this. I will handle it. You have to trust me. Well, you want me to wait until something bad happens to my wife? Right? Nothing will happen. Mike, trust me. I'm on top of this, all right? I will have another talk with them. I'll handle it. You will? I will. Trust me, eh? I'll handle this. All right, bro, you better do. Oscar! Oscar! The 
course that finally happened. Just come down. What, what was the problem? What was Jane? I haven't seen her today. What, what was the problem? Jane is missing! Jane is what? What did you, what did you say? Missing how? How? When? How did it happen? We found our wallet on the ground. Okay. Just, just by the junction close to the house on the street. But she didn't get back home last night. Okay, just take it easy. What, what about her phone? Can you get hold of her phone? Switched off. Ha! Huh. Okay, this is Look, The persistent threats. But you promised me you would handle it. I promised you, I know. Now look at where we are. I can't find my wife. I don't know where my wife is. Look, I know you're upset, but just calm down, please, oh. alright? Okay. I know she knows about this. That girlfriend of yours, she definitely knows something. My picture is not my girlfriend, alright? That's not the bone of contention right now. Look, I understand. She's no longer your girlfriend. No, Mike, you're upset, but you need to calm down, alright? Let's find your wife first. Now you listen to me very carefully, Oscar. You may be my best friend, but if anything happens to my wife, this town, no, no, not this town, this entire nation will not contain you and I! Mike, come on now. Your words are becoming too tough for friends. Take it easy. Find my wife, Oscar. My wife. Find my wife. So, officers, that's, that's all that I know about this case. Really. So if you'll allow me, please, I have other things to do for the day, okay? One more question, sir. What else do you want to know? I just told you everything that I know. What about your wife? What about my wife? What do you want to know? Is everything okay with you guys now? Everything is not fine, all right? She filed for divorce. Are you happy now? Sorry about that, sir. It's fine. It's okay. That'll be all for now. We'll be on our way. That is what we've got, sir. All what we've got, sir. <clears throat> um, Mr. DPO, sir. Permit me to say, these two men that call themselves police officers are very, very unserious with their jobs. It's been one week now. One good week, and yet no major need about the whereabouts of, of, of my wife. What about that girl, the, that perpetual girl? You mean you don't have any evidence to charge her to court? Nothing concrete, sir. She is also a victim of a uh, circumstance. Perpetual? Victim of circumstance? DPO, that lady is the one that knows about the happiness of my wife. Sir, you can't be too sure about that, your claim, sir. Really? Yes. And what if I tell you that I have a friend in the telecoms that was able to drag up numbers that were used in harassing my wife? And? And those numbers are linked to perpetual, of course. Do you have your wife's phone? Oh my god, what kind of question is this? My wife was missing with everything on her, including her phone. Sir, no court of competent jurisdiction will admit that as evidence. Really? Yes, that's your claim. No court of no court will admit it, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Very well then. Since it has become crystal clear that nothing is coming from here. Mr. DPO, I guess it's high time I paid a visit to the area commander. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You see your lives? You see your life? Ordinary case of a missing person. One good week! You cannot get a suspect. Sir, we're trying our best, sir. Your best is not good enough, my friend. And let me warn you, you're playing with your jobs. Because if I dare get a query from the area commandant, both of you are as good as gone. Sir, we'll do our best. Sir. Get out of my office, you bunch of nitwits. Get out. Ransom. 
Did I hear you say what I'm saying? Mm. Yes, you, you, you think all this is for ransom? No, no, I was well paid for the job. Mm. Well paid. This, this job? Mm. <laughs> please, mm. please forgive me, please. See, I have a four month old baby. Please. Please, please do not harm me. I beg you in God's name. Madam, my job is to keep you alive until the woman who paid me for the job comes. Mm. Woman? Mm. What woman? And then, what happens? Mm. She's the one who decides whether you live or die. Mm. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. Please, I beg you in God's name, please. Please. Please, who oh she? Please just tell me, please. Please. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Please.
I mean, you're not looking in the right direction. All the people that you're talking to are not the ones. Hold on. Am I missing something here? One of the persons we're interrogating actually knows the whereabouts of what happened to this kid. No, sweetheart. They're pointing you in the right direction. You need to look up the way to the person. here has never failed me in any case I've been to. She might be right, you know. Of course. Well, I mean, not know about that. But one thing I do know and I'm sure about is the way she looks at you. She loves you. I'm still here. Okay, this one no go be like the other day. Eh? What do you, what do you Where do? You play now? Play, 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 okay? You, you, you don't know anything about what? Last card. Hmm. What if the person responsible for the missing woman is playing his or her last card? Who will it be? See inspiration, no. Last card. About to check up. Kola, let us move quickly. Do you have any uncompleted building? And how is that relevant to the case? Answer the question now, please. No. But what is this all about? Building care. With which salary? I don't have a land. Talk more of a building. Do you have any uncompleted building? I have a building, but already completed and occupied by tenants. Please, have you heard from your ex-wife recently? Officer, can you please tell me why I'm here again? Is she in the country? I don't know. She doesn't want to talk to me. She doesn't want to associate herself with me, so I don't know where she is at the moment. Does she have any landed property in Lagos? Yes, yeah, she does, yes. Where's the location? It's around Moway area. An area called New Garage. What is the problem? Color. Let's go. <laughs> what am I doing here? Well, I'm here to finish my unfinished business. You, my dear friend, I told you, I begged you to please help me watch over my husband. I did, but, but what? He was cheating right under your nose. And you didn't even say a word. <laughs> Joyce, do, do, do not blame me. He's an adult. How could I have stopped him? Well, it's destroyed. Now, no thanks to you. Now, let me ask you a question. <laughs> Does your husband cheat? Traveled. I warned you about leaving him here to go to the state, but you didn't listen to me. But you see, my dear friend, 
my husband. He cheats. Yes, doesn't. Your husband was my friend way before you came along. And what did I do as a good friend? I introduced you to him. Come to think of it, just maybe, maybe if I didn't introduce you to him, I would have been the one who ended up with a good guy. But no, I ended up with a cheat. But Joyce, that wasn't my fault. I, 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 you knew it. I'm tired. I'm tired of allowing you to ruin my happiness. I'm tired of allowing you to ruin my life. Please, please forgive me, I'm sorry, forgive please. you. You're sorry. Will your sorry bring back my marriage? Will it restore my broken home? Jesus Christ is a, a, a changed man. You know, he still loves Oscar you. Oscar loves nobody. He is selfish and wicked, just like you. I'm sorry. Please, for the sake of our friend, sheep, just let me go. I promise not to discuss this with anybody, please. Please. Yeah. Maybe I should let you go. Of course, my darling friend, why not? <laughs> sure. No. You don't know what I'm going to do. Please. <laughs> you know exactly what I am going to do. Oh, my friend. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to shoot you right in the head. I will allow your husband to marry another girl who will take care of your damn kids. No. Shut up and say your last prayer. No. Shut up. No. Down. No. No. Please don't think about friendship. Hold it right there. Drop the gun. No. No. I came for this. Shut up and don't do anything stupid. Drop the gun. And you too. You're under arrest for the kidnap of Mrs. Jane Honora. Anything you say will be used against you in the law court as an evidence. Drop it now. Take it easy. My men are in there. My boys are in there. Oh, she's fine. Relax. <gasps> move. Say move. 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 Say move. Move. Oh my God. <gasps> <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I have no words to show my gratitude. All I can say is, I'll write an editorial about your good works. Thank you.
you my boys we deliver eh <laughs> they are diligent officers good <laughs> sorry about you too. sorry sir we should have come please sir I have your kind permission to stand at this, sir. Oh, stand at ease, Fidelis. So well. Now that you will deliver us. <laughs> that was our reward. Oh! <laughs> Congratulations. First and foremost, go home tonight. Go and enjoy yourself. You know what you normally do. Thank you, sir. Enjoy yourself. The first thing tomorrow morning, yeah. come to my office and we shall discuss that. Okay, sir. <laughs> Is that permission for number seven? I said go and stay with your family. Go and get treated and go to your family. You are thinking of number seven child. Sir, what about Sam Bisa, sir? Get out of here. Tessa! Yes,